Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use ethanol estradiol livornorgestrel, which is a combined oral contraceptive pill. And for those of you are meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decision, decisions, which is the whole point of this video. And this video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. Now the generic name is ethanol estradiol levonorgestrel, but it's sold under several brand names like Microginan and Stateril. And it's available as a tablet. Which brings us to how to use this medication. First of all, swallow the tablet whole do not chew on it and do not break it. And it's important you take this tablet for 21 days at a fixed time. And after this 21 days follows a pause of seven days where you take no tablets. During this pause, you will also experience a bleeding resembling a period. If you wanna start using this pill, it's important you do so at the first day of your menstruation. You could also start this pill at any other point during your cycle, but then it's important you take additional measures for the first seven days of use. And do you experience severe diarrhea or do you need to vomit within four hours after taking a tablet? Then you should take a new one as soon as your stomach and your intestines calm down. Which brings us to the indication of use and as previously mentioned, this drug is used as an oral contraceptive. Off-label, it can also be used to treat painful menstruations or to prevent severe blood loss during a menstruation. At this point in the video, we would normally discuss the correct dosage to use, but in this case, we already discussed it. It's one tablet a day on a fixed time for 21 days, after which follows a pause of seven days where you do not take a tablet. And if you have forgotten to take a pill, then always contact your doctor. Depending on the week in which you have forgotten to take it, additional measures should be taken, like using a condom for the following week. Now this combined pill is a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can have some side effects. I will discuss some of the most common side effects here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then always ask your doctor or check your leaflet. Very commonly, more than 10% of all patients might experience a breakthrough bleeding. Commonly, so 1% to 10% of all patients may experience nausea, stomach pain, a headache, mood swings and weight gain. And uncommonly, patients might experience vomiting, cramps, a decreased libido and high blood pressure. Which brings us to the safety of this drug. Fortunately, it's safe to combine with any type of food, even with alcohol in moderation, and you can drive safely when using this drug. However, it can have some interactions with other medication, so please always discuss this with your doctor. And we end off by taking a look at its safety during pregnancy or lactation. First of all, if you want to become pregnant, you should stop using a combined contraceptive pill. However, if you accidentally use it once while pregnant, then there seem to be no adverse effects for your unborn baby. Regarding lactation, it's not advised to use a contraceptive pill the first six weeks after delivery, but after that, this medication can probably be used safely. Always discuss this though with your prescribing doctor. Which brings us to the end of this video. I hope you know now how to use ethanol, estradiol, levonor, Levonor gestural because educated people make healthier decisions which is the whole point of this channel if you have any questions though let me know in the comment section and for those of you who want to keep learning check out the playlist up there or in the description all that rest me is to thank my sponsors on patreon thank you sebastian who is an investor to supporter and thank all of you for watching now before we end this video off, let me please remind you to leave a quick like and do not forget to subscribe so I can keep educating you. It will also help me to speed up my process to 10,000 subscribers. And just to give you a little insight into my YouTube statistics, just 0.9% of all my viewers is subscribed. And I think you can do a whole lot better than that. So please subscribe. And as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.